the Y here for Pack TV and Long a lot more about tune for that point each. What does this mean for NC State? Basically, if they win today, they jump up to the top of the Pool A rankings. And we have a lot to talk about today. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, it rested and State needs to make sure that they keep their momentum. NC State today, of course, we have a lot to talk about them, and the biggest key point we have today is the boys are buzzing. NC State is undoubtedly one of the hottest in your game. That's literally the reason why you're playing this game. But way or another, and they had to do that by going through regionals, arguably the top Liberty, two powerhouse teams, especially against Liberty. But to go back to that Ryder game, there was a seesaw second period in that one, Logan, and it was a little bit bad for the defense in that one. What does State got to do today to think about that to tight settle? You know, Joey Hall has occasionally gotten rattled, especially late in games. They need to hold on to that lead. They need to get, maintain that early lead and keep it throughout the course of the game. And especially that the Ryder game was huge, starting that momentum yeah. into the next game, of course, against Liberty, a 4-1 to win, powerhouse team, a team that you would usually expect to move on to the Nationals. Yeah. And, of course, the motto for NC State this year, silence the doubters. Everyone on the ACHA Revelation show was doubting NC State, and lo and behold, they are here, they are playing, and they are looking like one of the better teams out there. We were at practice yesterday. Well, they've silenced their doubters so far. They've just got to keep doing what they're doing, you know? They've done a great job. They've earned their spot here. And again, like you were talking about, a lot of people saw Liberty coming to this game. By beating Liberty, State has proven that they have what it takes to get here and to succeed at this level. They've really just got to prove it out here in this round-robin play. And the biggest thing, of course, is the team is led by a few key players. Sam Beneshevitz, Parker Zarek, along with undoubtedly Trevor Merchant. You have all those guys. Sam Beneshevitz led the team in regionals with three goals. Trevor Merchant, a goal and an assist. Parker Zarek with two goals in the tournament as well. What are the biggest things to take away from that how do you get those superstars going in this very important game well you really just got to maintain your play you, your offense is a firestorm you do a great job shooting you do a great job crashing the net they've really just got to make sure they maintain that point maintain their poise okay okay of course, heading into this one, goaltending is going to be a key factor, and we saw Joey Hall play spectacular against Liberty. He will get the start today. Absolutely. Deservedly so. He's been one of the top goalies in this league. He's done an excellent job. I believe five shutouts on the year. He's done an absolutely fantastic job. Can't ask for much more, and he's earned his spot start here today. It's going to be an exciting one to watch for sure against that one, but of course we cannot talk about NC State. We control their penalty kill and their power play. Well, really just ma maintaining focus and keeping your cool. I already said that, but that really is. So they've done a great job of that this season. They look to just play their game. They know that whoever they're playing, their game can top them if they're at their best. It's going to be crucial to watch this one for sure, but the thing is this team cannot be the, the, who they are without their clutch performances. Sam Beneshevitz, of course, is one of the most clutch players that we know, and a lot of guys on this team simply have that knack, that key aspect to come alive when they need to the most. Elaborate a little bit more on that, Logan. Well, you know, it was when they state's game, so they're going to look to get it going here little bit of time off they got to come out firing they've got to keep momentum on lead throughout third Joey Hall's just got to have a great game when he's on this team is on he has a good game the team will too and we're going to run a quick commercial here for Pat graduate the red and white shop is your one-stop shop for all things Wolfpack located in the Ridgewood Shopping Center off of Wade Avenue the red and white shop recently expanded from 2400 to 5400 square feet whether you're in need of tailgating essentials decals and magnets home goods needs did you know that NC State Transportation offers alternative ways to get to and around campus for faculty, staff, and students? Line bikes and scooters, Wolfline buses, and members of the Wolf Trails program. For more information on alternative transportation and Wolf Trails, visit ncsu.edu slash transportation. NC State Transportation, moving you to succeed. At Potbelly, everything you find is a little bit happier, sweeter, fresher, groovier, and yummier. Why? Because at Potbelly, we know it's never enough to just eat lunch. You gotta feed your smile. Swing by for our new turkey club, handcrafted to make you smile. What? We're back here now at the Star Center Community Ice Rink. Zach Sawai here for Pack TV alongside Logan Ward. Let's talk a little bit of but they have practiced. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, you got to make sure you maintain your freshness. They earned that time off, though. They had a great regular season, so they earned that time off. You know, 
They've just really got to make sure they maintain their composure out there. It's been a while since they've had competitive play, but like you said, maintaining that practice, maintaining that rhythm, they're going to be ready for this one. I don't have to worry about because much like Joey Hall, the numbers may not speak for themselves there. No, absolutely not. He's an absolutely spectacular goalie. He's one of the reasons they've made it this far, so you have to watch out for him. Again, that 11-4 record, he's done a great job out there, and there's a reason they have him leading the charge, and that is such a big thing. NC State has had weaker third periods. You hear the fans in the back. So fans have made the trek here, guys. This is no joke. Nationals is where it's at, but the third periods, State has had a really hard time of trying to manage their jump and then managing their finish. How do they need to connect the two today? They've really just got to do a good job and maintain that momentum. We talked about they've had great first and second periods. They get their offense going. They score early and often. They just need to do a good job maintaining that focus on defense, doing a good job closing out on shooters, making sure that no easy shots, no garbage shots really. They just need to do a good job maintaining their, what they do and playing a physical defensive game. Of course, they're led by three very prominent leading scorers in Artie Potter, Cameron Fisher, and Tyler Coloss, all of which have had varying points in the past few games. Tyler Coloss is the player we need to watch out for today with two goals and three assists in their past five games. Speak a little bit more about how to get those guys going. Well, really, what seems to be their approach is they have a very balanced offense. Again, all three of those guys are kind of at their lead. So getting all three of those guys going is going to be an absolutely fantastic thing for them. They just need to find a way to figure out State's defense, and if they can get offense going, again, doesn't matter how good their third period is if they get, win in the first and second. Also big players to watch today is going to be Jeff McDonald alongside Tyler Colas. Talk about that even offense again, Logan, but what have they got to do today to work on their special teams to get past State because State right now is rolling? They really just have to do a good job in this making sure they get those 50-50 pucks, winning on the boards, doing a good job in the neutral zone. They've got to win those battles. And really, that's just going to be hustle. That's going to be focus. They've got to do a good job all around to beat a team like State. Exciting times here in Frisco, Texas. Teams are about to be introduced here. Please sure to stay tuned to the ACHA National Broadcast right here from Texas. Zach Soai here for PAC TV alongside Logan Ward. We'll be right back for post game after the game, possibly even some intermission interviews. Who knows? We'll surprise you. We'll keep you waiting. We'll see you soon. Here with assistant captain Ryan Kinney of the undefeated NC State Ice Pack. Ryan, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's obviously a very big tournament, of course, coming in undefeated this year. It's got to be an amazing honor to be here at Nationals after winning regionals and, of course, the ACCHL tournament. Uh, definitely a, an honor is an understatement. We are representing NC State. We're also representing the 300-plus people who donated money for us to be here. Um, without them, we would, we would not be here. So it's a, it's a great honor. One of your big It is. It's a very special feeling it, for us to be the first team out of NC State's franchise to – you know, make it this far is, is cool in itself. Uh, even to win a re be the first ACC team to win a regional game, let alone two, and then advance to nationals. Um, it, it's just a great feeling to be here. We're all happy to be here. The boys are excited. Um, but at the same time, we're looking to come out for a win. You know, we didn't raise all this money to come here and just have fun for a week. We're, we're here on business. We're here to do our job, and that's to win hockey games. Really? And the biggest thing, of course, you guys couldn't get here by yourselves. A GoFundMe was created for up to $35,000, and people have been graciously donating in and out through that GoFundMe there. But out of that came a really interesting motto, and it's hashtag silence the doubters. It was something that really picked up a lot of steam, both on Twitter and on Instagram, a lot of the social medias. Talk about how that kind of came to life, how that was birthed. Yeah, so uh, so our, one of our assistant coaches, uh, Tim Healy, he was the one who came up with that that saying or phrase. Um, and that just kind of all culminated after, uh, after the ACC tournament because, you know, even going into the ACC tournament, like we had a great regular season, um, obviously with the record and not losing the game to that point. But um, even going into the ACC tournament, uh, you, you know, it depended on who you ask, but we, we weren't necessarily always the favorite for that. And then especially going into regionals, I mean, yeah, not to say people were hedging their bets against us, but they weren't necessarily rooting for us either. Um, just in the general spectrum of things. So I think the fact that we went in there and beat, like you said, two quality teams in Ryder and uh, Liberty in the fashion that we did really shocked a lot of people. And, you know, it, now we're kind of out to, pr to prove everyone wrong and, you know, play for our, each other and ourselves, but represent the school well and prove everybody that kind of doubted us from the beginning or from whichever point during the year wrong. Well, obviously. you know, I think, uh, you know, hockey in the South isn't something that people usually think about. 
And, you know, a lot of us, you know, grew up here playing. I, I personally did. I played in Raleigh my whole life. And, uh, you know, hockey was a passion for me. That was my life. So I think it's just kind of a message to everybody that, you know, it's not, not really about the place. It's about the people that do it. You know, it's about the players and about the, you know, everybody that, you know, helping us with the GoFundMe, everybody that makes, uh, makes this what it is and makes it happen, you know. You had a hard skate this morning, of course, getting ready for that first match against the University of Massachusetts tomorrow. Walk us through the mentality going into this when you guys are riding an amazing wave of momentum right now.